Daniel 2 and Daniel 7 says the kingdom will be completely and totally absent from planet Earth during the times of the Gentiles. And don't even think about the kingdom. Well, you might want to think about it. But don't expect the kingdom to come until the Antichrist empire comes first and Jesus cataclysmically overthrows the Antichrist empire. Think about this for a minute. You're sitting in a church and the pastor keeps talking about we're bringing in the kingdom through social justice or environmentalism or whatever. And the next kingdom on the horizon is the feet of iron and clay which is the Antichrist kingdom. Whose kingdom is that pastor building? He's not building God's kingdom at all. He's building the devil's kingdom. And he doesn't even realize it. And most of Christianity doesn't realize it. Because they've never been taught this precise chronology you know, that I'm trying to develop in this particular lesson. There's a lot of people running around that are going to tell you that the stone cut without human hands came in the first century. And Jesus started a spiritual kingdom in the first century. J. Dwight Pentecost explodes that myth by explaining why Daniel 2, verses 44 through 45, has to be future. Christianity did not suddenly fill the whole earth instantaneously at the first coming of Christ. It took Paul several decades before the gospel even penetrated Rome. Christ never destroyed the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire continued to function centuries after Christ left the earth. There, were no, there was no ten king confederacy covering the whole earth in the time of Christ. By the way, Christ in the first coming was not a smiting stone. He was a stumbling stone. He's called in the book of Ephesians a cornerstone, but never a smiting stone. He's the smiting stone, not in his first coming, but in his what? Second coming. Beyond that, Christ did not destroy all the kingdoms of the world. I mean, the stone cut without human hands is going to destroy all the kingdoms of the earth and grow till it fills the whole earth. Jesus did no such thing in his first coming. And also, we're not in a political kingdom now. The church is not a political kingdom. The church is a spiritual man, a spiritual body of believers. We'll, we'll develop the church later on, dispersed 